Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to make your auto exec.cfg file for CSGO in a matter of a minute or two. Um, so start off by going to your Steam library, go to your Counter-Strike Global Offensive game, right click on it, go to Properties, go to the Local Files tab, go to Browse Local Files, go to the CSGO folder, go to the CFG folder after that, and this is your directory where it's going to be placed. So you're going to right click, you're going to do new, and then you're going to hit text document, and then we can just name it now, auto exec, hit enter. All right. Now I don't see the extension. That's not good. Uh, Windows 8, all you're going to do is go to view, go to file name extensions, check it off, and that's it. So now we need to change that .txt to a .cfg. How do we do that? Right click, rename, that's simple. Dot CFG, and that's it. Hit enter, and yes, we want to change that. Great, you have your auto exec file now. Double click on it, open it, it's blank. That's what we want. Now, if you just want the jump need and nothing else, it's very simple. Go to my YouTube video, copy the code I gave you, because I'm so generous. Copy that paste it in here and uh, you do want one more line in fact I'll even add uh, no nah, I don't think I should so I'm gonna take it from my auto exe file which I also have on here I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and copy it it's the host underscore write config command and we're gonna put that in the last line and then we're gonna file save that and that's it now you can change the mouse bind or the keybind, I should say. You can even use something on your keyboard like the letter K if you really want to. I prefer mouse five because it's next to mouse four, which is my cycle through my nades. And it's just easier that way. So once you figure out what bind you want, save it, file, save again, close it out, and you're done. That's it. It's that simple. Enjoy, guys. Thank you for watching.